Welcome to the afternoon session. We're listening today to Gustavo Laskowski, who's going to talk about cluster NFS. Thank you, Gustavo. Hi, everyone. This is Tedcom Typing. I am Gustavo, and I'm going to talk about our NFS cluster, network file system cluster. A little short introduction about myself. I am undergraduate in home electronics, Master of Science, and Doctor of Science in Electro Engineer in this university. So it's, it's good to, to be back home. And I am I'm a Linux user and developer since two, 2007. I work with, with hardware and software projects. So this one I use a, lo a lot of hardware, but US device drivers, graphical interface using Linux. Another project that's very complicated, but uh, I use a lot of digital signal processing with Octave. But today and I, I'm going to talk about another project. And uh, that's my lab uh, at Federal Institute Univ uh, University. It's about one kilometer from here. And uh, it's a Brazilian governmental institution. We have limited resources, and uh, I didn't have any s network server until this project. And we formed about 144 telecommunication technicians in nine years. Uh, in, in 2017, I received this nine older piece of hardware. A, a, a friend just called me and said, I, I have the servers. Do you want to take a look? I said, it's OK. Let's try to recover this project, this, these web servers. And uh, first, first of all, uh, I decided to put some names. So I choose uh, female names in alph alphabetical order and with A. So we have here Amanda, Bianca, Carolina, Daniela, Elisa, Fiorella, Gabriela, Helena, Isabella. I think Linux might have something like this male name is and with A. After some hardware procedures, so we must check some disks, hard drive disks, ECC memories, power supply, uh, we must clean everything up, yeah. and uh, we, th that's the server, it's work fine. Amanda, Carolina, it's okay. Bianca has the same hardware, so it's a spare part of Amanda and Carolina. Daniela, Fiorella, Isabella, rest in peace, unfortunately. And Elisa, Gabriela, Elena, Elena is amazing, Elena, that, that's uh, it's Elena. Two power supplies, disk arrays, two uh, Pentium 3 processors. It's very, very old, but it's worked fine. And uh, I, I don't have J, K, L server, and I have M. It's my wife, uh, Mara. It's a total different OS. It's worked mm -hmm. fine, either. <laughs> anyway. And that's what, uh, what I have. So I have Amanda Carol and, and Carolina, same hardware, Dell Power Edge, two processors, the uh, on its memory, uh, Elisa, and Gabriela and Elena, it's a Pentium 3, uh, two gigabytes of memory, anyway. And uh, we try to put it together. Uh, to work as a cluster, that's uh, the, the main idea. So Amanda, it's main server. Carolina, it's a failover of, of Amanda, but run, it's run together, same network. Elisa, Elisa Gabriela, and Nina provide uh, NFS, uh, NFS disks to this cluster. Each server has uh, a network interfacing this network, point three. 10, 10, 12, that's, uh, I, I don't have uh, IPv6, 
six only IPv4. That's a, another project that uh, I'm work for. But uh, everything is running this way today. Uh, um, Amanda its main servers. Amanda works a lot, 24 hours every day, and she provides uh, user access by Apache Web Server. Amanda is here in this this hack. And uh, she mounts NFS, NFS disks from another uh, old other servers. Uh, I don't have any time, but it, it's very simple how to run Apache on Debian. I have this example. It's in it's my old website. Just run this. It's about four lights. Very very simple to run. And the older servers only works when it's really necessary. That's because uh, economical energy, environment, noise reasons. If I turn uh, other servers, it's too noisy in the, the laboratory. And it, it, because of that, uh, if someone tried to as access Amanda at the Apache Web Server, uh, this, mesh, this message is going to show up because just to, to show the user that that server does not work at the moment. I just put an empty file with this name and indicated that uh, the server is offline at the present moment. How to set up an NF, NF, NFS service is very easy. So we just to, to, to change this file, the SF tab. Uh, this is the network address of the servers. Uh, each server has um, a cluster user to just to separate to, to manage reasons. And this is the local uh, at, uh, local place at Apache Web Server. In this setup, it's very easy to to mount a. Uh, a disk, a network disk, just mount it and this parameter and to amount the same idea. Uh, here I, I have to do something because the servers stay offline. So when I, I turn a server on, for example, Carolina, she must send a, a command send to Amanda and said, hey, mount my disk. Something like that. I must. I, I go, I go show later. Amanda has another servers uh, running. Uh, for example, mini DLNA. It's a multimedia. Oh, sorry. It's a multimedia streaming server. I run there the Gustavo Flix. It's a lot of. Well, it, it's very it, it's very easy to to run. I think I have here. You must uh, change this file. Not uh, everything, just the the name, media directory, and the runs. It's very, very easy to put it on. I have a FTP and the uh, NEV um, server. I have some IP cameras that send photos to the, to the servers. And I have uh, the Air Art Studio server for advanced statistical analysis. I think you have two sections in this conference about R. It's very interesting. I have something here. How to set up? It's very, very easy. Either just this is common. And Carolina, it's a failover, another server of Amanda. It's it, the green one. It works about 15 hours a week. Uh, it has a DHCP server. She uses upper address and Amanda lower address. So I don't have any conflict, uh, IP conflict address in this idea. 
but but in general Carolina sends some pings to Amanda if Amanda does not respond she turns the, the server on that's the, the main idea Apache multimedia FTP servers runs at a different IP a filter project they did to to make a load balance between the two servers but I must uh, keep Carolina on that's a, a little complicated so I don't know if it's going to work and another servers Elisa, Gabriela and Elena provides the NFS disks the common regular users can only access by Amanda or Carolina uh, that's Elisa red Elena in yellow Gabriela is another hack and how to set up uh, these clients it's very very simple so we must install port map NFS kernel service NFS common the first, first step and after that we must change this file so home cluster met the, the user the address of in NFS servers and uh, I must do it in each server uh, and after that I must I must to choose a good this command because every every time that a server turns on the, the, it mounts the this directory to the, the main server and of course I must change some permissions uh, in this scenario I uh, only cluster user and root user can change the, the files but other users can read and execute and that's Gabriela another hacker that's amazing about servers we have disk arrays so we have a array a five disk array here I don't said before Amanda is here she has six hard drivers running right one Debian it's in the first one slash home in the second one and Apache web servers in the third one so I have handled and it's very very nice it's old it's this because it has a hard driver very old but it's work fine and uh, I must do this command to send the message the message to my server send hey I, I wake up put my disk on something like that uh, I, so I use SSA pass uh, this command that I just send it it's not so safe because uh, I must put the password of the server here so that if it uh, you can use it uh, asymmetrical keys but I must use it this because another device I'm going to show a little later anyway just uh, SSH, uh, SSH password and the command to my server to mount the disk and after that uh, we can put it uh, on Chrome tab so uh, I put this command after uh, reboot my servers wait 60 uh, one minute Six seconds. Yeah, that's important because I must ensure that my server receive a, a, an IP address before mount my disk. I can put some fixed address, but I prefer this way because I can see when my server is online. I have this this file here, for example every time a, a machine receives an IPM on network it shows to me here so I can control this that's because I, I use this technique so it's received IPs and mounted INF disk server very simple to make an NFS server cluster this way uh, another things that I have uh, Amanda has a 
automatic tas uh, tasks for Dropbox and G Drive. For example, here every 20 minutes, she executes this, uh, this script. In fact, I I think I have this in my machine. So that's the script, send date, uptime, ping to another hex devices, and uh, some some stuff here. Uh, this is very nice because if I change this, I kill my network with this command. So it's very nice. But uh, just keep it running. And G drive and another command here. The the output of this script is sent back to Dropbox in this file here, log Debian. So we have a key. Have the, the time, the hard drivers, etc. Uh, I can run every minute command, so I must change this. This go to Dropbox, and one minute later, it's gonna change my output file. So that uh, I'm gonna show later. So that's the output that is generated here. Uh, it is sent to, to G Drive either, and uh, this goes to my website at this link here. It's very just with that command. So here I have every 20 minutes it sends the stats of the servers here. It's very, very easy to set up either. I think a Dropbox response. Let's see. It's a response here this time. And um, I have something nice here. That's because I use this command. I'm uh, sorry. That's because I use this command. Uh, I, I can read, for example, the temperature for a Cisco network device, router switches. So I send this the password and this command, and I can measure the temperature. Uh, this had, uh, it's in on my website either. It's a little advanced, the, the, the comments, but I have here, for example, the temperature of the seven last dates of my switch, router, and a Raspberry Pi device with the, this command. It has some scripts here and then to generate this, this graph. Ah, here, the, the Dropbox response here, log Debian. So if I reload, it's going to send the, the command here. It's going to send the uh, cameras either I think I have something here. That's my lab. Date. I think uh, it's updated. And I, I can do some stuff. For example, here I have uh, my house. My house, and uh, I can see everything using the same technique. Uh, with Debian, Dropbox, some scripts, and, and that's all. So, thank you so much, the Federal Institute, Brazilian Council of Scientific, the Free Software community, community, Debian team, you always doing a great job. That's all. Thank you very much. We have one minute for quick questions. Para o controle ali do dos clusters, só usou shell script mesmo e SSH. Oi. Para comunicação dos do cluster, só usou shell script e SSH. Shell script, Dropbox e SSH, apenas isso. Beleza. Just to in English to control 
this, this work I only use Dropbox, Shell Script, and the SSH. That, that's all. It's very, very simple. Another question? So that's okay. Thanks so much. Thank you.